can stop them though. Both had <laughs> long runs in this tournament so far, but blame F. He's going to open things up. Poison towards jungle low. Catches Tapson. Going for that self boost. And it's a quick three kills for complexity on this pistol round. See if they can close it out, but it's still going to be Searson and Keto to try and make it work. But Rush, a lovely tap, finds the second. Tapson a good yeah. opening. Make that one work. But Zantares, a second kill for this T side now as complexity starting to fall apart. Poison answers back with one, but Zantares. Nice. Goes out this round and Rush will find Zantares. Obo from the jungle will get forced back by Tizian and that Deagle. And oh, Tizian. Towards mid, Keto finds a final glass cannon in the end. For the opening, he will find it. Blame F for company who's going to be looking towards the underpass. That drop gives him away and Tizian capitalizes. Poison does trade out. But now Ogo on short finds another Tizian down in mid. Gets caught out as well and Complexity have brought this into a 2 on 2 Going to try and retake this one. A flashbang. Oh, Ogo doesn't know where he's been shot from. Able to do a lot of damage as Tapson with the initial spray. But now it's all up towards Config. 1 versus 2 and Tapson spots it. And claims the kill. Config. He needs a Molotov to help him out. Finds a kill off the back of it as well. Oboe with another one. And Config just sprays into the smoke. Catches Keto on this map. The flashbang in. Lines up Searson and Config just going to swap over to that Krieg. I don't know Searson's playing this coast. And he'll catch Config. Oboe gets the trade though. Leaves it all up to Tabson. Will not be able to find anyone. Side. Santara's with a Galil. 1 FPS is better than 0 FPS. I'm glad you agree. I can make it 1 FPS if you really want. Maybe you won't be so happy with that. <laughs> no, it's just Big Clan with 2 left alive. I can press, Yes, I can certainly press tab at the end of this round. But Config needs to finish it first as he takes down Zontares. Leaves it all up to Tizian. He's going to get caught by Oboe here. Jumping towards... I mean, I, I, I... I'm trying. I'm trying my best. <laughs> Double orbs for complexity, but it's going to be a rush to open things up. The AWP on Config does actually fire through. Rush finding another kill. And poison on that second AWP, but it's going to be Sis and left alone. One versus four, but Blame will take him down. Sis and going to be trying to find an opening pick as Team Keto goes down, but he will trade out towards Blame F. Four achieve, but Rush finds Antares. Obo will be able to find Tizian. Who's going in on his own. 50 seconds left. They're going to go for it this time. Searson spotted out by Config. The orc reigns through, and the drop for Tabson onto the site gets heard. You know he's there. Can he find him? Config will. That orc finds two. Situated over towards ramp. Searson tries to peek out from said ramp. But Keto will find the opening onto Rush over on the balcony. Searson will double that one up. I take a chance to end this half on a high here. Blame F does find one, but Keto quick on the trigger to take him down. Leaves just two for complexity. Well, Keto finds another. That's his third kill around, doing a little bit of chip damage to Obo. He's just Obo. One versus. Well, make it zero. Complexity side pushed in towards his A site. Poison spots out one towards CT. Don't have anything config. to say about this round, whether he's going to even be needed as Config ooh, has worked his way towards CT. Unspotted, take down Tizian, but Tabson towards the site has found Obo. Zantares finds another. Leaves Config and we're Rush to find close this one out. Config finds one, leaves it all on Rush. The bomb not actually going to get defused as Searson just taps it. Rush trying to find the shots, can't get it. Searson will pick up a pick hit, but not enough time. He pulls alongside it. I've just seen someone say you have a pretty weird face. I really hope you know that that's uh, basically the same half of my face doubled up. So. In the form of Keto and Sis and that all playing over towards the ticket booth. And a flashbang in enables Keto to find one. Can't quite adjust his aim for the second. Blame have taken a little bit of lick of damage. The kills traded out over on the A site. But actually it's going to be Big Clan to close things out. But for now, Sis is going to be pushing... Towards top mid, might catch out Poison and he does that. B site, it's just going to be Zantara's on his own. He's good for one, but Blame F finds him in return and the Molotov drops towards Van. 
still complexity and Amanda's advantage. He's going to try and get the bomb down. Pushing all the way out with it. Lucky to get that kill and get away. Sitting towards the kitchen with the open, especially as Tabson gets dropped over on short. Sinison just going to try and hold on to his rifle. Or should I say the AWP? It is technically a rifle. Finds a lead once more to just five rounds. I don't think that's the molly he wanted to throw. And the falling underneath the window and taps this and over towards the triple box caught out by Rush who uses the flashbang to approach. Kito over towards the palace as well but tapson has been found over in mid and <laughs> Rush finds Kito who isn't hearing the drop as well from Dantaris. Tries to find a shot but misses the first one, does get the reef peak from match point. Well sorry not match point. Tapson. He goes well. It's a big bonus for him. Searson close towards the window. No scope to find blame, and now it's a two man. Can he find it? Yes, he can. Catches the bomb. Config going down. And then it's Poison next up to the plate. But Searson's going to pull a nade out. It hits Poison and slows him down. But Poison will still find it. He will take him out of the round. And that leaves just Poison one versus three with 12 points of health. Tabson finds him. And now they're going to be pushing in. Tizian towards mid, might be able to rotate pretty quickly, but it's even trades on the site now. Configures fine, Keith found Keto though, and that's now. Taurus takes him down, Tizian trades, but it's still some man. magic work here. They're going to be pushing in towards the site. Tabson finds Blame F, and he's going to try hitting the bomb, but it's actually poison to swing out and catch the Tizian. Rush finds Tabson. Pushed down and isn't able to get himself into a safe position, but he swings back out and absolutely destroys Xanters. Is he likely just going to throw over to Chimney? To allow him to push out. Eventually, Rush will find the kill with the patience that he had right there watching Library. Kill from Poison quickly being found as well towards Cirrus, and as that push came in true balcony, they do know Rush is on towards the bomb side. Let's see if he can find one before going down, and that's exactly what happens. Keeps the advantage in favour of complexity and with so little time, Blame can push in and just deny that bomb plant. And he just over I wasn't sure if Cersei actually spotted the player peeking on the corner right there, but definitely did. He took a shot and rush. Is there a flash for him actually to try and go forward? He has one himself, but none that can be thrown in from his teammate. Blame will probably keep his MP9 and buy up full utility behind the, uh, the SMG to pick up, otherwise they, they will actually be looking at an eco at that point. Then Big going to be themselves for three rounds early on. It's a really good start there from Keto, despite being blind and is able to spam away and get himself up. The damage being done as well by that nade on towards Blame. Let's see if they can hold it down. The MP9 being the first line of defense, it does actually manage to open things up. The trade back position, he's already played a couple of times though, so it is expected and the flash is perfect. Rush blinded and taken down the bomb site, taken over by Big. So that's actually a pretty good find right there from Blame, being able to do a bit more damage to the not quite as aggressive as he needed to be. Does, uh, does rather end up spotting Keto. What's not expected though by Big, despite knowing there was a player who stood up, is that it's a stack around quad as well. Rush on the P250 finds two quick kills. Should be aware of this fact because they heard the Krieg fire off before, but he lines two of them up in mid. Is he then trying to make his way out? Aggressive. Looking to see if he can find an opening pick. And he does have the angle. There is a few players that are trying to sneak in. Stops back up a flash though, it's perfect. Config spamming down through the smoke, manages to get himself a second. Bomb is on the back of the player's peak now right now as well. Tabson, he does end up going down, so that's the bomb now dropped forward. I'm not too with sure. That flash just a couple of seconds ago as he re-emerges, he finds out that this time they have indeed advanced forward and isn't able to get the kill. So does quite a bit of damage though, so definitely makes it easier for Rush here. And as he takes down Xantar as the one who was healthy. A lot of options to work with, they're all grouping up a banana as we can see. But they've also limited the, the info for complexity elsewhere, so as they push in the rotations are very far away. So if they can manage to trade this out successfully, they should be looking to try and just run down as much time as he can as his teammates assist with the flashes. Commitment still, of course, coming in. As the rotation gets shut down quickly there. Poison dropped. Blame only able to actually find one from the back of the bomb site and the spam through the smoke from Tizzy and is actually going to be able to take Rush out of play. So been utility constantly being thrown out right now over towards the safe on site. Eventually the push begins to come in. But as we can see, complexity set up well to try and hold it down. Rush picks up a quick double kill, but Santers, he manages to pull it back. In the corner here with one player up close on short. Config trying to come in from long, instantly gets dropped, and now it's all on to blame coming in from the apartments. They're aware that he's coming from here as well because they have Xantares on short. The Nate actually gets the first kill though. Xantares up close, gonna go down as well, but there's not enough time to reach the bomb. Flashes though are perfect. He won't be able to find one initially, but as he 
goes up on top of the coffins, will find one at least. into the retake, and actually Xanthares gets tagged down as well. Sirison on his off, gonna be able to go ahead and get one in towards the spawn. I was about to say, I haven't said his name very much. I kind of, I think my friend was on the team. He only has two kills. But, I mean, now he's brought it up to three. He's going to head in complexity. They have the same idea that they want to back off as well. The retake not looking likely anymore. As I said, that fight. Nice Molotov and also a uh, nice flash party. A couple of banana Kiyos just ripping them all apart. This is easy for Bison's actually watching for him. Maybe able to find it, but not quite. He will go down the up Op is available for Poison, as we can see, of course, over on that CT side. Tries a jump shot. Okay, that's a, that's a little bit much to ask for, I'd like to say. It does cost him his life. We end up seeing also Obo then getting taken. You don't want to overthink it. The time was getting relatively low as well. They don't keep on It's clear as long as they trade, then they should be fine. And there it is. The first trade comes in from Xantheris after playing. Kill and... Indeed, yeah, compression straight down mid. Rush able to catch one, but I don't think they expect that. There's a close towards the bench. And indeed, he's able to at least find himself one kill before going down. Rush was taking the fight for a Should while. Be planted on the A-bomb site itself, but they don't know that the flank is coming in so quickly. So Tabson is able to catch one off guard at least before they are spotted. Poison able to trade that one back. Tizian as well it comes back with a headshot, so it's remaining pretty equal. But eventually, it's all on to Tizian now. Gets himself yet another headshot up against Blame F who spots him out. Looking to just try and play the time on the bomb at this point. But the fuse kit is available for Tizian. So he only needs those five seconds and he has more than that. Gets the headshot for the defuse to come in. Actually hold this down. In terms of nades, all they have is one flash. So they will have to connect their shots. But they have a good setup. Xanter is right now in towards Grave. Going to be able to find himself. and get the second then on the config who tries to jump up and get the trade. And just continues the frag. Can't be stopped. That transfer from Obo was perfect. Realize that they're both there is the question. This is definitely winnable right now for Obo. Thanks. The elevated angle up on top of the box and drops. The... Let's see which way this one will go. Nade stack up towards oranges. Oh, that is perfect. Okay. Keto gets taken down. B. Well, that wall has just been demolished. Taken down bit by bit. Oh, Tabson just drops. Plant because they won't have enough to buy in the next round. Xanthar is ready to push as well on short drops. Rush and Obo, the last man standing. Coming in from long, gets one kill, but the position is known. Xanthar is. Deep from Sirison. Maybe chaining together one more off the back of it and actually putting big on the economy. But here we go. Configure around through Arch. Going to be able to drop Tizian as well. So they continue to extend the advantage and. Perhaps in, in a little bit of an awkward spot right there once the player on the road. They will both be allowed to save as well. Complexity don't want to Looking to max out on the mid right now. Is that there? Oh, the three. Help of Sirison on the op as well. And it looks like Sirison, I believe, the one right now holding for with the op. And the swing comes in. Rush actually gets himself one more kill onto Xantaris, but that's going to be down though it's probably going to stop him from being able to help too much for the moment as i say that though Zantaris pushes forward manages to take two kills and then true to smoke tabson drops config now it's into the four on two heavily in favor of big blame catches two players trying to fight on mid the bomb's still down at the moment they do need to try and retrieve it but at least a couple of kills here isn't up close to their player dropping down on the doors has been spotted obo takes a small bit of damage but it was true to corner the previous rounds been quite clean for complexity they do keep a few of these weaker weapons of skills you over towards b so let's see how that's going to work out for them. Because actually a couple of the players now focused in towards middle. See, the bees coming out of tunnels, so that's where they do want the majority of the defense to be watching. That is the case now. Quick double kill for Xanthar. does some good damage on the poison as well, making it easy for Tizian to finish him off. He should be able to get that final kill on the tunnels, which he does. Gets tagged a little bit, jumps to make him think that he fell down, and it works perfectly. Sirison, you mastermind. Nah, it's, it's pretty standard, but it, it's, it's yeah, just another kill actually going over to Big Clan. Poison will eventually find one back on mid. That was a well time. begin to come in over towards the A-bomb site. Smokes down towards the CT spawn to try and actually cut off the rotations, but they still have to deal with the op over on the hoping to be able to catch one, but it's skipping time now as well for Kito to go in for the flank, and he gets both kills anywhere near as bad, but oh, here we go. Shredder along through the smoke. Flash goes over, but Kito, of course, was playing anti-flash up close to the blue box, so he's able to get one before going down. Spawn. And he's going to find out that they are doing so. Spot the first player, lines them up, gets a dink through the corner of the wall of the poison, and has an easy kill. Long control config, having the spawn actually does manage to make it out. Get that opening kill, the flash is perfect, those will ever tap them to come back in. Stranger to smoke, mows down two more. Still alive for the moment, the Molotov goes in to force them forward, and unfortunately for him, it is poison winnable spot for big.
Sirison though coming in from behind though, it's expected, it's expected by Blame. Another though, Tizian in the perfect position, lines them up easily. Not being even in their possession for now, so just trying to actually catch them off guard with all the flashes, but so far they're not really working too well, at least not for Tapson, who still had vision. I believe the player in the bomb site was blinded for a while, so it gave them a chance to move forward at least. Expected. He's actually gone back out towards the window, so there we have it. Blame F has the chance for the first kill, manages to spin around and take down Keo. This could be a complexity. They need this round, and Blame F may be able to give it to them. There it is. He was being done getting aggressive triple long darts. I was about to say, I'm pretty sure he's being spotted, but he also gets the vision on Rush. Hey, bomb site. Look at this position from Sirizen. This is risky. Up close to the smoke that's down right now on short. It does allow for him to quickly catch a kill. There's a smoke below him as well that he falls into so that they can't get the trade. And with that now, the advantage being extended even further for Big Clan. Obo gets dropped. The Molotov taps and happy to sit in it. Manages to actually get the kill towards Poison. And the Molotov even goes away. It leaves him alone. Actually does go down to blame F, but it doesn't matter. It's an amount of economy to work with, so I feel like they're probably okay for the remainder of the half. Pretty much. As I said, I thought the skill picks up an open and spots the gun barrel of Tapson as well. While trying to retrieve it towards the doors. Hang on, this aggression of course on short. I was gonna say could be perfect. Go. But the smoke onto short, a flash over that will allow Tizzy to drop down towards the spawn, so they have at least two avenues of attack. Or rather, two angles of attack, but that doesn't work out. Blame's able to take them down in an eco for themselves. Or rather, uh, a half point kind of. Bring it in towards mid. Oh, now through the smoke with the flash going over. The spam. Through that CT smoke does quite a bit of damage to weaken up the already kind of disjointed offense. They all get picked apart. Rush it. So the long control is found, but oh, hang on. Is that Sirison pushed all the way up mid with the Yop? That is dangerous, but it works out. Takes down yeah, Oboe. That crossover gets completely blinded. Perfect. Lee timed. Poison got very lucky with that. I'm not going to lie. Trying to hold this one down. Habson who goes up. It gets dropped into a small bit of damage, but he's already been dropped down to 31 health himself. Rush also brought quite low. As you can see, it's not a full commitment. Three players around the area already, so they definitely do have a decent setup to try and hold it down. Sirison also making his way back over towards short, so he's able to find one on the off, but he's going to get traded quickly. And also, we see on 10 health. It's an easy finish, you would imagine, from this point, and Poison actually just comes out to go ahead and do it. A full set of nades, rather. Trying to bring it over towards long. It looked like Rush was set up quite well right there. Keo just popped out though behind the initial player who was taking the fight and ripped his head off. And now in towards the pit actually gets a flash in from his teammate Harrison Sirison. Oh, already being tagged up. A pretty considerable uh, considerable amount each rather. Flame just trying to spot the cross, but it's the quick flank from Config that eventually does come true. Xantar spins back to rip his head off. So now he has the opportunity for the 1v1. Both players low as the bomb gets planted. And Xantar has, of course, known that Blame F was over towards short. 100% sure that he's still there now as the shots do come true. Xantar is, though, yet to actually peek out. It's known he's on the bomb site. Blame F is just waiting for the head to be shown. Only two bullets actually remaining in the USP, and he's gonna find a quick one tap on towards Xantar. There's plenty of time. Gonna be the one pushing out long. For a second, I thought he was pushing out long alone just because all the circles were put together on the map, so I thought he had the bomb on his own. Of course, wasn't these two weapons. If they do, Blame F can drop a weapon. Rush could buy for him. Yeah, sell on Blame, really, to, to get this one. Otherwise, at best, they have maybe one M4 in the next round. Absent the end, he's starting to actually walk out mid. Doing so on his own, though. Wanted to try and catch the timing ahead of the smoke. And all of the uh, attack really out through the tunnels. Not going to be too successful in the beginning. Keo gets dropped by Obo. Santar is still the retake. Tizian, though, it is going to be checked. Yeah, Rush comes in. Fortunately, mid, so it seemed like they kind of knew what was going on. Nice shot by Sirison, though. Gets one in on middle. Still a little bit of utility here for the CTs to work with. Includes a flash, but oh, the peak towards window is perfectly timed. Xantar gets himself another on towards Ovo with the last few two days of uh, intense CS grinding. So big as they begin to push out towards B, it seems like they are going to have a pretty easy time in overrunning the bomb site. I mean, Config with the P250 could catch a couple off guard. He will actually manage to get one. The flash then blinded up Keo. Did he think they got that kill? He almost have presumed that they got the kill while he was blind because they need sleep pistols them. to be fair, so it's not like it's 100% over, but we're going to need to see Xantar do a lot, manages to get two in the tunnels, but dropped low. I mean, the USP is no longer that big of a disadvantage here for Poison. One bullet towards the body of Tabson is definitely enough, most likely towards Xantar's as well. As I say that though, we'll play with this right now. 14 to 8, going for the early long control yet again. Xantar's actually does get taken down quick to try and actually hold it down, uh, hold it down rather, so the two Danes. Rush has got aggressive out through long, so he has the ability for a quick fight, which isn't expected. So he manages to catch Tabson, looking for the second, even does a little bit of damage there onto Sirison. Who is now actually the last man standing because he will also failing to get out of the tunnels. And is going to be off guard towards the lower tunnels, but doesn't actually get that kill on the Keo initially. 
Finishes it off as the repeat comes in. Maybe or maybe could have waited for some teammates to come through and try and help him, which eventually happens and allows for those trades to be found. Now it's the tick in the fight initially going to be forced back down as he's already on low health, which also makes it an, e an easy finish rather once Santer does jump. Time already ticking away. One kit in the spawn, one kit in towards middle. Yeah, they're not really retrievable. Yeah, they have to get the full 10 second defuse, and even then, that's not allowed. Xantar catches him crossing over from mid. 